Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting adventure in the realms of craft beer, beer reviews. Craft beer. Craft beer reviews, I guess? Yeah. My name is Daniel. Carefully crafted by Daniel and Zeb. My name is Zeb. Hmm. And uh, this evening we're going to drink this LA31 Beer Pale from Bayou Tesh Brewing Company in uh, Arnaudville. Louisiana. Louisiana. It's a pale ale. If you yeah. don't know what beer pale means, I'm sure with the LA31, all their all their beers are um, like titled LA31, Los Angeles 31, whatever. Is that the name of the road? Los right? Angeles. I <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean Louisiana? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was just saying. Los were, Angeles hey, 31. <laughs> um, it's worth noting, I bought these on a trip. And uh, I didn't realize until after, because I'm bad at buying beer, I guess, that they're past their best buy date. Oh, no. We're going to drink it anyway. If I find it again and it's fresh, I will absolutely drink it again if it's awful right now. I mean, yeah. it's a pale ale, so it, the hops Sounds will have fair. fallen off, but... It's only a few months past. So. Right. Anyway. Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's get to it. That works either way. <laughs> really? Yeah. You know we're pouring these beers into the sure glasses. For some reason I have a little more. I find that incredibly hard to believe that you ah. have your head there. Well, mine's perfect though. Look at it. It's um slightly, slightly hazy. Yeah, I'm gonna call that like medium amber. Yep. That's what I was gonna say. Took the words right out of my mouth. Aha. Uh one finger whitehead. It smells a little a little bit hoppy. Yeah, kind of florally. Yeah, definitely florally. Florally. Is that a word? Fleur de lis. <laughs> Louisiana. Floral notes. That's about it. You smell anything else? Maybe, maybe a little bit of honey. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at saying yeah. Schlanta. Schlanta. Still pretty good, I yeah. gotta say. It's pretty it's, nice. It's very nice. Even small. Even taking into account that I'm sure the hops aren't where they're supposed to be for the beer, still got a pretty good hop presence. It's definitely got a good malt backbone, yeah. which is nice in a pale ale. It certainly does. It's like instantly refreshing. Yeah, yeah it is. It's almost like got that that cooling sensation. Yeah, exactly. it is. It's very refreshing. That's what I was going to say. It's a good descriptor. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Aha! I did something right for a change. That's nice. I like it. Yeah, it's definitely not L.A., by the way. No, not Los Angeles. I paying attention earlier. We made a Freudian slip there. Um, I get a little bit of, uh, like, sweetness, honey, maybe. Yeah, I'm not getting honey. Sweetness, yeah. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't call it honey, but... Well, that's why I, I did say maybe. Yeah, maybe. But maybe not. Um, so. A little bit of hop bitterness. Not a whole lot of bitterness. It's more floral, like in the aroma. As I'm drinking it, I'm getting a little bit of like a almost tinny kind of a aroma. You picking up on that? Yeah. Yeah. Which is, is that because it's old? Or? Could be. It's a little odd. The, it's not in a flavor, just in right. aroma. Man, that is like thirst quenching. Hmm. I know, I just want to pound it. Like, yeah, it's really good. One. Even if it is a. Uh, let's let's look at the label. Seven, eight, 14. So it's uh, four it's months. Trees. No. This is like almost six months Seven, past its date. Nine. Oh, yeah. Nice little picture. It's nice. I like it. Um. Yeah. Uh, what else? Mouthfeel? I want to say cooling. This is me drinking. You know what I mean? Like when I when I drink it, it cools my mouth down. Yeah. Which, is that a mouthfeel? I, I don't know. Qualify as a mouthfeel? I mean, we're drinking it at room temperature, so 
it shouldn't be cold. True. You know? So I'm gonna say cooling. I don't care. I'm gonna say just a, it's too a bad if you touch, like it. Uh, sticky. Hmm. You know? But not a bad one. I mean just because of the hops. It's like Yeet. right. So drinkability? Yeah. That's yeah, absolutely. Really good. I would like to get my hands on a fresh one. Yeah, so would I. You want a fresh one? No. <laughs> Uh, so, are you ready with your rating? I'm going to um, give that a. Uh, let's say, uh, the only thing that, that bothers me is that like, little tinniness I'm smelling, so I'm just going to pull a little bit off of it. I don't know, it's delicious. I'll give it a 4 or 5. I was also giving it a 4 or 5. I was ready. It's here. Yeah. 4 or 5. That, I would like to know what it tastes like at its best. Because this is, like I said, almost six months past its Best Buy date, and it's still really good. Delicious. So, good job, uh, uh, whoever you are. Bayou Tesh Bayou Brewing. Tesh. It's really, really tasty. Yeah. Um, we have another one of theirs, too. We'll, we'll we try have two more. A couple more. Which is exciting. I'm excited. Yeah. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Can I look excited? Or shoot us an email. No, I really am. Until next time, cheers. Yes. Thanks for watching.